Next question is from Ty Finicum. How would you, or would you even, approach a friend or family member when you can clearly see their health declining or weight getting out of hand? If they are amenable to help, where would you start? You know, this uh, this is a question that we get all the time. Yeah, yeah we revisit it a lot. Yeah. yeah. And, and it's a, I struggled with this for a long time. I'm sure you guys did too. Oh, man. Yeah, it's, it's a tough one. I think it, it took a, a good decade of being a personal trainer before it really sunk in for me that um, I, I can't control the decisions that um, my my family makes. So I went for the first this first phase of like recognizing that I can't change what they're going to do. But then there was a part of me that was frustrated or sad and, and disappointed. And then I, I had a whole different realization. And that was that this isn't my that this isn't my life. It's their life, mm-hmm. and you know, it's some people get joys out of certain things that uh, I don't see as much of a priority. I I, I think that uh, constantly getting uh, you know eating foods that are pleasurable all the time may give me instant gratification, but I see the rewards of not eating those foods all the time. Uh, and I appreciate them. Some people have never seen that or felt that or can connect with that. Therefore, they don't ever feel they want to. And who am I to judge them or tell them how to live their life? The best thing that I could possibly do is to be an example and, and allow them to see uh, the choices that I make and uh, how, how fruitful it's been for my life without really saying anything and hope that they ask the right question to allow me then to help them in that direction. Otherwise, if it's not, if they're not asking for it, it's even if it's received temporarily, uh, it's not likely they'll ever stick with it because it, of that. It just doesn't work. It just never, I've, I've almost ruined relationships. You know, I got to a point with my parents where I'd come over their house and I'd look through their pantry and take things out. Ma, why are you buying this? You know, dad, why are you doing this? And we'd have dinner. Listen, you guys eat too much of this. And I used to get on on their nerves, and it was actually starting to ruin the relationship between my parents uh, and I. Look, we can talk about this from a completely different uh, standpoint, one that I think more people will understand, right? Let's talk about religion for a second. How many people find a religion, it changes their life positively, it's like the most remarkable thing in their life, and then they come to you, and then they constantly, yeah. you got to do this. You got to look at this. Read this book. What, and what ends up happening? Or do, do they do they succeed? They often push you in yeah, the opposite you direction. You turn them off. They, and, and they end up doing the opposite of what they thought. You know, I've experienced situations where I've met, where I know people who have a very strong spiritual practice. They don't tell me anything. I just watch them and see how calm they are, how successful they seem to be. Wow, you seem to have like... Such a good sense of purpose and meaning Great relationships and with your kids. And then I'll ask, yeah. what, how is it that you're like this? And then they'll say, well, you know, it's my spiritual practice. And then I'll say, well, I want to know more. Now I'm open. Yeah. Now I'm open to learning and listening. It doesn't work trying to hammer into people that they got to eat right, they got to get fit, they got to do this. It just doesn't work. Now there's a flip side to that, of course. If the relationship with that person is causing you lots of issues, and I do think that fitness people have a low tolerance, you need to increase your tolerance. Not everybody sins the same way or whatever, so be a little bit more tolerant. But at some point, if you got a family member that is just doing drugs and is an alcoholic, and you're like, "Man, this is this is this is negative. This is hurting me." Yeah, it's damaging the family or it's you. The, you right? na- then you're just gonna have to say, "Look, I can't hang around with you anymore. This is out of hand. I know it's your life, but now it's starting to hurt me." Right. But you got to also increase your tolerance. You can't be like, "Hey, you know, I don't want to hang around with you because I, I see you eat cupcakes every once in a while." Like, don't be that asshole either. <laughs> you know. But you're not gonna change anybody by by. I and listen, I'm telling you. Listen, you're listening to a guy who is an excellent salesperson. I can I can get most people to see my point of view when I really, really want to. Never worked with this, yeah. with anybody in my family. It only pushed them away. Well, the, the religion so anal- I tried the shit. The religion <laughs> analogy is beautiful. It's yeah. exactly like that. It's, there's nothing more annoying than having somebody try and push their religion on you, but it's, a, it's totally different when you see something in them that you want or that you're curious about mm-hmm. and you ask them about totally. it. So the best thing that you can be is just that example and hope that they, they ask, why, man, why are you so, you always have energy in the morning and you're always yeah. so positive and you're always so happy and, oh my God, you just bend over and pick that up. And, you know, you, you got to be able to live, live it 
and allow them to to see it to ever want to receive it. Right, right. And then eventually what happens is someone said, and this has happened to me too, is that after I did that, people come up to me and say, hey, uh, can you help me with my diet a little bit? Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. You know, Hey, do you think you could help me with a workout? I'm having a little bit. Absolutely. They never would have come to me if I would just continued hammering them. In fact, they would have been like, screw that. I'm not asking that asshole who <laughs> keeps beat me up because i want to be yeah that's that's a good point to bring up too because i've dealt with this quite a bit and tried to apply the whole like uh modeling aspect of especially my parents and and seeing if it at all would influence the way that they would eat and whatnot and it's not been working you know and it's (laughs) it's been really frustrating and but you know there are those little moments where they'll be like you know what like uh, I, I was curious, like how to lower my inflammation and like the doctor said this or that. I'm like, Oh, th- that's a window. And you don't, you don't want to overwhelm them with stuff. You just want to address that one question, give them really good information. Yes. And so it feels valuable to them and then back off. And then that, that leaves more steps for them to take yeah, you towards gotta, you. You got to be humble too and graceful with that. Like yeah. you don't want to, I did this once where. Someone, you don't want to throttle all the way oh, in, Oh dude, dude I, they come to me like, Hey Sal, I think I'd like, Oh man, I've been telling you for like the last, <laughs> <laughs> now you come to me. Like, oh, should I just ruin that moment? Right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. 